So, I was doing a bit of poking around inside the old Kenwood amp I cleaned up a couple videos ago, and I couldn't help but notice how silly the mains wiring on this unit is. So, for one, to be expected from the time period, unpolarized, two-prong plug. Cords may be a bit flimsy, but that's alright because this is a pretty low power amp. But over here, where the mains wiring comes into the amp, is where it gets a bit interesting, shall we say. It's got a fuse holder there, it's got a switch there, which just does the changeover from, I believe with this transformer, a 110, 120, it changes it over to take a 100 volt mains. So, I guess Japan mains wiring, mains voltage, and that's not the strange part. The strange part is all of this mains wiring here is bundled back behind the heatsink, separated only by that bit of paper tape and a couple millimeters, because down under there is the connections for the switched convenience plug socket, and then there's an unswitched plug socket as well, and both of those are just sort of stuffed behind there. Additionally, ah, camera went funny with colors. Additionally, the main switch up here has the connections to allow both the active and neutral to be isolated, but those were not used. It only isolates one side of the incoming mains. So, going from that mess and the switch and the cord, especially since this thing does have a designated ground point in there on the chassis, that is simply not used. So I think I'm going to make it an eventual project before the end of the summer to get this thing wired up with a three-wire grounded cord, maybe pull some of that mess out and remove those two plug sockets there, and get the power switch to connect both the active and the neutral, and then isolate both when it's turned off. So, I think it's time for ultra speedy schematic drawing time of what it is like now and what I want it to be eventually. So, there's the old amp input schematic. The active and neutral here are really arbitrarily chosen because the unpolarized plug could be inserted either way, so the active could easily be where the neutral is now and vice versa. It has the unpolarized plug sockets, it has a switch that only isolates one of the incoming mains lines, though it could easily be wired to isolate both. It has a DC rated capacitor for filtering noise that really should be an AC rated capacitor. It has a fuse, has a power transformer, rectifier, filter cap, all of that. And what I plan to do, three wire incoming mains, active neutral and earth, use both poles on the switch to isolate incoming mains, active and neutral. Replace the noise filtering capacitor with one of the same value, but rated for alternating current use. And then connect the earth line to the chassis ground point, thus earthing the chassis and preventing any shocking hazards developing inside the amp. That's all. Thanks for watching.